Child abuse can be caused by drugs, alcohol, overwork, and stress. If you or somebody you know is a victim of child abuse or is an abuser, please call your local child abuse hotline today. Don't let it come to this. When Mortal first asked me to do a music video for him, I thought to myself, I want to do a video that makes an impact. And by doing so, hopefully we could help some people. Child abuse is rampant in our society today. And unfortunately, it's all too common among the Christian community as well. The sad thing is that Christians don't want to admit they have a problem. Therefore, they never get any help. If you're a victim of child abuse, suicide in no way is a solution. Jesus Christ is your only solution. If you're a victim or an abuser, you can't overcome this on your own. If you haven't already done so, you need to invite Jesus Christ in your life right now. Make him your personal Lord and Savior. Give him control of your life. And with him and through the power of the Holy Spirit, you can overcome this. We also suggest strong biblical counseling as well. Our hope is that this video will encourage the abuser or the victim of child abuse to get some help. Excuse me. Oh, breakfast is served. said they do Morning. You just wake up with this morning in bed. Yeah. Uh, this case is signing your lives away, huh? Yes. Decided to go up in a helicopter this morning? Yeah. That's how desperate you are. This is our, this is our last meal, man. This is the last meal. Are we breaking bread here? We're in the, we're in the heart of the health land here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that shot ends when he gets, you know, when you get down the valley where you see that pillar, you see the dot up there. Just, okay, is that back lift? Front lift? Front lift? Front. Well, we don't want to get a helicopter in the sun. Front lift. Here's the problem. Here's one that we're wondering. We need to put Pete on the ground, but if Christian's not here, he's going to stand the helicopter so it's really fast. <laughs> Welcome to Ruby Mountain, Nevada. This is where the adventure of the mortal video all began. I wanted to film in Ruby Mountain, where we had shot the Extreme Attitude Ski video just a year ago. I remembered that there was a great mountain there where we could put Gyro and Drome on top of a thousand foot pillar. When kids are subjected to abuse, they need a safe haven to find freedom from their pain. I thought that the band on top of the mountain high above the rest of the world would represent this freedom. It's like you're just flying, and he's going to squeeze the camera up. And uh, if you can have walls on both sides with the, with the ability to kind of go up and down, it's good. Of course, that's the best. We only need, we only need like five, six <laughs> seconds of it. Well, most. the other thing I can do is come up here and come through one of these two. That'd be wild. The winds really begin to pick up, and we were wondering if we were going to be able to pull this off. Joe Royer from Ruby Mountain Hilliski said it would be extremely dangerous in such high winds to hang two cameramen out the side of a helicopter and film a band on top of a mountain. He said that there was only one helicopter pilot he would trust under these conditions. And fortunately, we had him. We had two goals. One, we had to get every scene right the first time. And two, we wanted to make sure Gyro and Jerome didn't blow off the mountain. Bob, are you clear? Are you clear on what your goals are? Silhouette, right. a tight one, Gyro. a medium one. Okay. And then do your editing so we can edit into your shot. Right. Quick pan in, right. quick pan out. Okay. Just work it. Ed.
Five months after filming at Ruby Mountain, we were shocked to hear that the helicopter we had used had crashed because of mechanical problems. Both the pilot and Frank Wells from the Disney Company were killed. We had a lot of fun auditioning the kids, but it wasn't always easy getting the most natural expression. Good job. Okay. Good. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Good. <laughs> or someone you care about who has died, maybe? Can you imagine that? I mean, this is not real, but... That's pretty good. It's pretty exciting. Very <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Shane Pace, Jeff Lawson, and other volunteers spent several days converting the Flipside Dance Club into a backdrop for the video. While Christian Schneider and Bob Crotty made final adjustments with the camera, the adults practiced riding trikes, jumping rope, and perfecting their jack skates. Hey Steph. hey Steph, so basically you have to formulate the rules before you start. So you say, if there are haystacks allowed, then you can separate haystacks. If you can separate kissies, usually you can't though. Stand still. <laughs> well, Pilgrim. It's gonna look great, Scott. <laughs> now, who are you? My name's Todd, I'm Ross's father. Are you gonna be... I'm playing with cars and I choke her dolly. You do? Yeah. That's really funny. I like it. I like it. Works for me. You don't do that at home, do you? No. Good. You're qualified then. <laughs> I'm sorry, who's your son again? Ross. Ross? I'm off for the camera. You're nerd too. The kids thought it was cool meeting the band members. Especially when they found out that Jairo and Jerome liked playing the same games they did. In today's world, most adults look like they have their lives all together. But if the truth were really known, many people have actually never grown up. They're just overgrown kids wearing adult lifestyles and adult clothing. Maturity and adult status doesn't always go hand in hand. A lot of kids don't have any real parents to turn to. When you take God out of society, things get all messed up. We wanted the video to show well-dressed adults who were still immature children on the inside. We blindfolded and bound the kids to show that children in today's world are in trouble. They need help. Unfortunately, the adults in their own lives are so much into themselves and fulfilling their own needs, desires, and pleasures that they've become completely oblivious to the needs of children who are desperately seeking their help. So do you like practice jumping rope or? Uh... Um, I do it for a living. Oh, you do? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Professional jump roper? Professional jump roper. Ah, so are you like a trick jump roper or? Uh... I, I freestyle. You freestyle. Yeah. Freestyle jump roper, huh? Freestyle. Yeah. So how many hours a day do you put in jump roping? About eight hours. Uh, eight is, hours. Is, is, is it one of those things where you have to like clock in or something? Or do you have like a time card? No, I just never really get in any of that. I just, you know, just all of a sudden, it'll be like, you know, just spontaneous combustion jump rope. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Syrupy and sweet. Make any kid hyper reactive, <laughs> especially me. <laughs> No 
Nope, man. Do you have anybody not in the shop? What are you doing to him here? Making him beat up. Trust me, it's a lot better to do it this way, Kevin, than, than to do it the real way. The most difficult thing about filming this video was the individual view scenes. Even though we were just acting, it made us extremely sad to think that every day in America, these scenes are actually played out for real life in thousands of homes. Even suicide among children is becoming more and more of a common occurrence. Before each scene, I tried to explain to each child that these things are wrong, but that we were making this video to try to help other kids. As we prepared for the sexual abuse scene, a kind of sick feeling came over us. For too many children, this is for real. Can you clear the set, please? Okay, good. All right. In this scene, we wanted to show that the kids were tired of the abuse they had taken. They wanted to free their parents from the drugs, alcohol, and stress that were making them abusive people. Good. Good job. Okay. Now, Whitney. <laughs> Danny and Ross, these are two of our stars. We are just telling the viewing audience that this is actually a baseball field converted yeah. to look like a cemetery. We've spent long hours of this, and we've worked on it all night. What do you have to say? You're just kidding! Uh, Ross! Dude, cop in an attitude. Who we have here? Oh, we have a girl in curlers! <laughs> and we have oh my goodness, curlers. look at this. Before? And after, before and after. Oh, I see you're wearing a backpack with curlers today. How do you feel today, man? How do you feel? How do you feel? Tired. You guys are GQing it. Look at you guys. <sighs> Give me the look. Oh, that's that's the look. Chicks die for that look. Chicks die for that look right there. <laughs> this is the guys. These are them. Jeff's behind the camera. So, uh, we're about ready to start. We got a long day ahead of us. At the end of the scene, we'll be shooting the graveyard scene. We did not want to glorify what that boy did at the beginning of the film by taking his own life. So this is the part where we actually have the kids and the band around the tombstone, around the grave, and they'll be mourning what this child has done to not glorify. So that's what the scene's all about. Okay. 
camera. Go like that. Okay, roll down. Amazing, dude. The kid's favorite part of making this video was getting a chance to break things. This was one time they could make a mess and not get in trouble. And boy, did they make a mess. The items the kids broke represented things that often have a way of controlling parents' lives. Good job, guys. breaking the TV. I could do this for a living. Action. Whoa. You are a boy. Down, boy. Down, boy. Down, 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 boy. Down. <laughs> down. Down. <laughs> Great. Eric, tell, tell us to stop. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> uh, uh. I don't like dogs, especially here at Kai. Yeah, just rip it right open in front of you. Just, yeah, hold it steady for a second. You don't have to do that, just rip it open like this. And then just try to keep your hands inside. Because we already got that body. Camera. Action! <laughs> Oops! That'd be a cool dolly if it says mama. I'd be happy for that. Mama. Mama dolly? Uh -huh. Ma Mom. Mama dolly? Dolly llama. Dolly with mama. <laughs> cut. Cut. Good job. <laughs> when Eric came up to us and gave us the idea of child abuse being the center theme of the riff video. Um, first I was a little hesitant um, because I wrote the song um, depicting the separation between God and man and the way it's translating you know, into our world, our relationships and so forth. Um, but the more I thought about it, you know, I mean, what, what greater example you know, of that separation between God and man than child abuse, you know, treating your kid uh, in ways that, that God would never have him treated. And it just like just got us really stoked on the whole idea. Yeah, also the fact that uh, John and I worked in an elementary school for three years. Yeah, approximately three years. And I mean, the close contact with the, the kids during that time just showed us the fragility of of the kid and, and the, the the mental the mental anguish that they go through when they you know when a, a parent hits them. Yeah, and we you know we've seen kids over and over you know having bruises and stuff in our. Um, our philosophy in that, you know, in the teaching community, was you, you have to report that to authorities. And over the over the period of time, we haven't been doing any really reporting in that sense. You know, reporting a kid being hit or or abused. But now, you know, we finally have a chance because we're just so amped on saying something about you know the way society is. We need to focus on. That's why when Eric Hanna like approached us, we were really we were really up about this. Definitely not. Something uh, we could do. That's why we started breaking things. <laughs> <laughs> because I, and, and, and if you've watched the video, um, it's about those kids. You know, it, it's not about the song. It's not about the band anymore. You know, it's about the universal uh, truth about you, know, you never hurt a child, you know, no matter what, and uh, or else you'll have a future full of adults that are just dysfunctional. And we're seeing that now. And so. Focus has been on those kids.
Thank you. 
Child abuse can be caused by drugs, alcohol, overwork, and stress. If you or somebody you know is a victim of child abuse or is an abuser, please call your local child abuse hotline today. Don't let it come to this. Because of the difficult subject matter of child abuse, we wanted you to see how we made this video. All of the people involved volunteered their time and resources because they felt so strongly about the issue. We hope that this video will make a difference. My heart's alive, my heart can move. Yeah. Uh -huh.